So welcome to this BlazeMeter Did You Know session. Imagine you're a tester and as part of your test you need to enter a date but that date needs to be relevant when the test runs. So if you have a CSV file that contains a date obviously that date is static and if you're going to run the test today you may need to update the dates to make sure they're relevant for the test run. We're going to show you how you can dynamically update those date fields based on the time and date the actual test runs. So the first thing we need is a test and here's our Jamie a test. We've got a CSV file associated with this test, it's called user data. And these are the variable names that are associated with the CSV data. And obviously these have been reused inside the JMeter script as part of building the test. Now we're going to import this into BlazeMeter. So now in BlazeMeter, we've imported that JMeter script we just looked at. And as part of that process on the right hand side, we can see that this data model has been created for the user data CSV file. Now we haven't imported a CSV file, but what we have done is we've built out our rules to generate the first name, last name, and email address. And we're going to cover that more in a separate session. But what we also wanted was the date for yesterday. So if I add a new parameter and we call it yesterday, what we need is a function that will take today's date and obviously go back one day. So if we look at the functions, we have a function here called add days. And as you can see, it's add days with a date and then what we want to do. So we could go one, which will take us forward a day for tomorrow, or minus one for yesterday. So let's add this to our parameter. So we're going to use the now function, which will mean we're going to actually take the current date when the test runs. And we're going to do minus one, which will mean we'll go for, we'll get yesterday's date, like so. Now also in that test, we also need another parameter. And that other parameter was called add uh, last three months. So we want uh, basically a, a random value of either one month, two months, or three months back from the current date when the test runs. So like we just saw with the add days, we have a function called add months. Same thing, we also need to use the, the now function to say we want to take the, the date the test runs. And again, if we did minus one, we'd go back a month. So a month from the day from today. But what we can do is combine our functions. So we actually have a, a rand int function. And what they're saying is we want a random integer between one and three. And we need to add minus to say we want a minus number. And what that will give us is a random, either the one month, two months, or three months back from the current date. Now, if we look at the the data we're generating. So this is the data for the first name, last name, and email address. Uh, that would be yesterday's date. And we've also now got the three months. So this random integer is now calculated. Obviously we've got here January, February, and March. So we've got this dynamic data we've got that we can use to pick up date based on the actual test run date. So as I've just shown you how we can define our data requirements as part of our test. And at runtime, that data we generated. And we can do things with dates and times to ensure that the data is relevant at the execution time of the test. So if you want to see more, please go to blazemeet.com. You can sign up for free to start testing. And also, we have lots of courses at Blazemeet University. Thank you.